Well, seven short years ago, it was the event of the year, the Great American Eclipse, and now it's back to create a spectacle in the United States once again. That's right. Remember the funky glasses and everyone looking at the sun? The first total solar eclipse since 2017 happens on April 8th, and we will be able to see part of it right here in central Georgia. 2017's eclipse was one for the record books, the first of its kind in the smartphone and social media era. It spanned from Oregon on the Pacific coast to South Carolina on the Atlantic coast, even with parts of Northeast Georgia getting in on totality. Here in central Georgia, we were on the fringe. The magnitude, 0.96. And on April 8th, 2024, we're going to see something similar. This year's path of totality spans from Texas to New England, leaving central Georgia on the edge once again. The narrow 115 mile wide strip of totality across the United States is the difference between night and day. In that path, the moon will cover 100% of the sun, casting a shadow on the Earth's surface. To see the eclipse in totality, your magnitude has to be above a 1.0. Even 0.999 isn't going to cut it. In central Georgia, this go-round, our magnitude will be 0.81, meaning it's a partial solar eclipse for us. But what we'll see will be very similar to what we saw in 2017. But if you're like me and want to see the eclipse in totality, you're going to have to hit the road. Some options? How about in Texas? Austin and Dallas will both be in the path of totality. In Arkansas, Little Rock will be included. In the Midwest, you could head to Indianapolis or Cleveland, or you could head up towards New York to Buffalo, Syracuse, or even Niagara Falls. Not to mention, you're going to have to take a gamble on the weather planning for a trip in advance. Based on climatology, not a forecast, but climatology, you'll have better luck heading west to Texas rather than north to New York. April's eclipse will be the last total eclipse in the United States until the year 2044. Yeah, so it's going to be quite a while. Now, here in central Georgia, we are not going to be in the path of totality, which means you're going to need these eclipse glasses throughout the event. So they look like regular sunglasses, but you, you can't see a thing through them here in the room. Friday morning on 13 WMAZ, we're talking about what to look for when buying solar eclipse glasses, a hot commodity as we get closer to April. I'll break down what you need to know. I spoke to an optometrist about these glasses and why we use them. That's tomorrow at 630 right here on 13 WMAZ morning.